Welcome to the Mujawara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. In today's video, we're unraveling the mysteries surrounding the Germa Kingdom and its formidable military force, the Germa 66. Specifically, we'll be delving into the high-tech wonders that set them apart on the battlefield the raid suits. But before we jump into the nitty-gritty, let's set the stage. The Germa Kingdom has always been a strange and mysterious place in the world of One Piece. In a world where pirates and marines fight with fists, swords, and guns, this country that wishes to start a war rules the battlefield with its advanced technology. Besides the famous Dr. Vega Punk, the Germa Kingdom makes the most high-tech guns in the world in large quantities. No one knows who they are or where they are, but everyone knows the name of their criminal army, the Germa 66. The powerful Vinsmoke family, who run the Germa Kingdom, are at the head of this terrible army. The mysterious family has a lot to explain, but for now, let's look at the raid suits. They're one-of-a-kind high-tech tools that help them do well on the battlefield. Part 1. What is the raid suit? These are the raid suits, a group of powerful suits that the Vinsmoke family uses in battle. In terms of how it looks, the different colors and form-fitting design make it look like the Power Rangers outfits. Everyone in the Vinsmoke family has their own raid suit. All of them have the same basic functions, but each one also has special features that make it better for the way the person fights. We'll talk more about this in the next part. These are the raid suits, which look like small boxes. It's about the size of a beer can. The user has to put the canister in front of their waist to turn it on. This starts to change scenes, which are a lot like the ones in old Japanese Masked Rider shows. When the user turns on the suit, it automatically wraps around their body and starts working right away. To turn off the suit, the person wearing it only needs to put their hands around their waist. The suit will then immediately return to the box. Since birth, every member of the Vinsmoke family has had a lot of changes made to their genes. Because of this, they are strong enough to beat most pirates teams or even a whole marine ship without the suit. But as we saw in the whole Cake Island arc, their power went up a lot when they used the raid suits. They're strong enough to stand up to Big Mom's top executives. Part 2. What the raid suit can do, general abilities. As previously mentioned, all raid suits are equipped with built-in powers. These are some of the skills that people who wore raid suits could have. Better strength. Better strength is the first and most obvious improvement that the suit gives its users. During the Wano Country arc, Sanji demonstrated that the raid suit could handle the full power charge of an old Zoan-type Devil Fruit user. Speed increase. Super speed is another big increase. When wearing the raid suit, the person can move as fast as CP9 Sorrow. The faster speed is what lets the Germa 66 get away from the Big Mom Pirates during the wedding cake story. Bulletproof and fireproof, the suit, especially the cape, makes the wearer stronger and faster, and it also protects them from bullets and fire. Flight, together with the suit, the boots have a unique feature. The boots allow you to move around in the air. The raid suits can do anything, from floating in the air to flying at full speed. Part 3. What the raid suit can do, individual abilities. There are six people in the royal family of Germa, including Sanji. Vinsmoke Judge is the father of the Germa Kingdom and its leader. The oldest girl is named Reiju. Ichiji is the oldest boy. Niji, Sanji, and Yanji are the next three. Their raid suits can do the following. Judge. Judge's raid suit has a spear inside it and focuses on the jumping power of his boots so he can jump into the air and do his special air-to-ground assault. Reiju's raid suit enhances her natural poison skills, enabling her to harm a larger number of people more easily. Ichiji's raid suit focuses on blasts that can be utilized for close and far-range attacks. Niji, Niji can use electricity strikes on either a single enemy or a group of enemies at the same time with his raid suit. Sanji, Sanji's dream power is to be invisible, which he can do with his raid suit. Yanji, the raid suit Yanji wears has two strong winches that he can use to throw his enemies around and land a powerful punch. Part 4, the weakness of the raid suit. It's not impossible to beat the raid suits, no matter how strong they are. Also, the thing that makes raid suits so movable is also the thing that makes them so weak. When the raid suit is still in its canister form, this is the best time to destroy it. The enemy can't do much once the Vinsmokes are in their raid suits, so the key is to stop them from getting them in the first place. For example, Sanji shows in the Wano Country arc that a good stomp is enough to break the whole jar. There is no one else in the series like the Germa 66, from their tendency to start wars to their genetically modified bodies. However, the raid suits are without a doubt the coolest thing to use. 
this piece also talks about how those clothes are a lot more complicated and useful than you might think. Summary and Highlights The Germa Kingdom is a strange country that is known for its high-tech weapons and armor, like the raid suits. The Vinsmoke family wears powerful suits called raid suits during battle. These suits give them extra strength, speed, fire, and bullet resistance, and the ability to fly. The Vinsmoke family each has their own raid suit with special skills. For example, Sanji can become invisible, and Yanji's high-powered winches let him do strong moves. So, there you have it a closer look at the enigmatic Germa 66 and their game-changing raid suits. Stay tuned for more deep dives into the fascinating world of One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Until next time, keep exploring the Grand Line. Thank you very much for visiting the Mujawara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. We hope you enjoy our funny sketch videos and anime reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to continue joining us on our joyful journey in the world of anime. If you have any wishes, questions, or suggestions for our next videos, feel free to express your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for your support, and until we meet again. See you next time, buddy. What is One Piece anime? One Piece is a manga and anime story about a young boy named Monkey D. Luffy who wants to be the king of the pirates in the world. As a child, he eats a devil fruit, a strange plant that makes him able to stretch like rubber. Before the show starts, Luffy goes out into the world for the first time and starts to gather a group of pirates. The main group grows over time, but it starts with Luffy, Nami the Navigator, and a swordsman named Rorano Azoro. At some point, Luffy and his friends are known as the Straw Hat Pirates, and they go on many exciting adventures across the ocean. One Piece is a lot of fun because it's silly. Luffy goes from island to island around the world in the series. Each island has its own setting and theme. It's a pretty fantastical world full of animals that look like people, live skeletons, and other delightfully strange things. Within moments the group is in a winter scene, and the next they are on a tropical island full of giants. The show is full of silly and bright details. For example, Zoro holds a sword in his mouth, a scary military boss wears a cute bulldog hat, and people don't use phones to talk to each other instead, they use special transponder snails that can send and receive messages. Luffy is a carefree person who just wants to eat a tasty meal and laugh at bad jokes. Even though there are some funny parts in the series, a lot of One Piece is about freedom. During his travels, Luffy often takes up guns to help his friends and encourages others to do the same against pirates and government-backed military occupations. The characters in Luffy and his crew get stronger with each fight, which is typical for shonen manga. A lot of the story is about how Luffy beats a problem that seemed impossible to solve and finds some kind of secret power. After each fight, Luffy and his team get stronger and move closer to his main goal, which is to find the One Piece. Why is it called One Piece? The first part of both the manga and the anime shows that Pirate King Gold D. Roger is telling the truth about the mythical wealth called the One Piece. One Piece is the name of the show because Luffy wants to find the One Piece and become the next Pirate King. One of Luffy's main goals in the show is mentioned in the show's title. What is the One Piece? The answer to this question is still one of the biggest secrets in the series. It's been more than 1,000 episodes, and we still don't know what One Piece is. We know that the One Piece is the name of the treasure that Gold D. Roger collected on his travels because of details in the manga. We still don't know a lot about the treasure, though. There are a lot of ideas from fans about what the One Piece is, but we still don't know what it is or even if it's real. The One Piece could just be the friends Luffy makes along the way.